time. Take five. Tens to 20, 33, maybe 30, 42. All right, cool. That allows me to go back to this forum I was looking at and set everyone's asses straight. About what? Um, uh, one, of, one of the forums I'm on, go figure, is the uh, Daisy forums. Yes, um, da- yes, you've mentioned that maybe yeah. once or twice. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Daisy... Yeah, uh, there's a thread called Mass Shootings in America, and this dude is, you know, and granted, I I know even amongst the group, it's going to be somewhat decided because, you know, over here in the States, we do have the freedom to have firearms and so forth. And there's this Aussie fucking 16-year-old kid, oh, you guys shouldn't have guns, all you do is shoot each other, I'm like, okay, it's different from Australia, I'm sorry. And he's just doing everything that he can to make Americans be out to be these psychopathic mass murderers. Like, if if you own a firearm, you're already guilty of murder. Yeah. You know? And you guys know I have a lot of guns. Since, and I know I'm biting myself in the ass when I say this next line, but since I've moved back home, yeah, I've had to draw my weapon a few times. Oh, actually, no. I have shot somebody. I didn't kill him, but I shot him. Yeah, but it was, was, was that as a citizen or in, in the line of duty? Uh, that was as uh, a citizen and a private property owner. Um, I'll give you the quick bullet point version of it. Um, I had a fucking Star 9 mil that I picked up for like 250 bucks at a gun show. Um and this is, uh, and, and Kanye can even tell you because he's seen it. Uh, I have this nice now stockade uh, privacy fence that goes from like the corner of my room over to my garage. Before that was not up. And uh, I had a problem with just random people because I don't live in a great area. Um, not like walking distance from here is, is two areas that the cops don't even like to go into. Because it's just that bad. So, I'm coming back from the bathroom. I enter my room, and the window that's over my bed looks right down to the garage. And I see this beanpole, fucking skinny, black dude with one of my dad's uh, empty mud buckets um, from Drywall Mud. Uh, He used to be a general contractor. Just putting tools in it like it's fucking Christmas. So... I take one look at that. I'm like, all right, you know, I already have my weapon on me. I'm on private property, my own private property, so carry concealed doesn't even come into play here. Um, I, I, I go down there. I go, sir, can I help you? And the dude turns around and he has a machete in his hand. I draw my weapon and I tell him to put it down. And he starts walking towards me. I yell at him again, put the weapon down. For whatever fucking reason, this crackhead turns it to the side, so I now have about a two and a half inch flat. Uh, two and a half, half inch what? Flat, uh, the flat of the blade. It, it's no oh, longer streamlined, yes. pointed at. Yeah, it's turned to the side. And for a second, I thought you were referring to a tire. No. <laughs> yes, he's going to throw a flat tire at me. Um, but no, so he has the flat of the blade, which is about two and a half inches. And I'm at about seven or eight feet, which is easy. So, I, I don't know what possessed me. I fucking shot the machete, knocked it right out of his hand. And I told him, if you pick it up, I will shoot you. Guess what he did? He reached down to pick it up. I shot him right in the fucking forearm. Sounds at this like, point... Sounds sorry? like bath, bath salts to me. Oh, no, if it was bath salts, I would have just fucking killed the fucker because I I got to see what happened in Miami. Um, Yeah. So I I actually have a funny short side story about that, but that's for later. Um, So cops show up. I drop my gun. I back off. I'm like, I'm the property owner. He came at me with a machete, yada, yada, yada. So um, confiscate the firearm, take my statement. I, you know, I, I go nowhere because... I can prove that I live here. I can prove that I own this house. So, later on, about three months, I get a notice to appear. 
He's suing me for malicious wounding. Okay. So, I show up in court, and uh, judge is sitting there going through the, the papers, and this guy is sitting there with some rinky-dink-looking lawyer fucking grinning ear-to-ear ear like he's going to get paid. And he goes, and I won't use my last name, but, Mr. Creeper, uh, I assume you know why you're here. Yes, Your Honor, I do. And uh, you know the defendant is, or uh, the plant actually, excuse me, is suing you for malicious wounding. Yes, Your Honor, I do. All right, uh, I've been looking over the case files, and um, he came on your property. Yes, Your Honor, that is correct. And he had a weapon, a machete. Yes, Your Honor, he did. And you shot it out of his hand. I go, yes, Your Honor, I did. Did you order, you know, ask him, yell at him, order him to, to drop the weapon? Yes, Your Honor, twice. Did he? No. So you shot it out of his hand. Yes, Your Honor, I did. Goes through some more paperwork. I see they sequestered your old Boy Scout shooting records. Apparently they did, Your Honor. I see you're a very good shot. I'd like to believe so, Your Honor. So, back to the case at hand. Did you shoot him in the forearm because you're a very bad shot or a very good shot? I'd like to believe I'm a good shot, Your Honor. Could you have, when he was threatening you with this uh, deadly instrument, shot him someplace more fatal? Yes, Your Honor, I could have. But you didn't shoot him, like, in the chest or the head because you're a very bad shot or you're a very good shot? I'd like to believe I'm a good shot, Your Honor. He looks at the dude, goes, you're lucky to be alive. Case dismissed. Slam. Done. Dude didn't even get to open his mouth. And, and how, how, how does this relate to the forum post? Uh, because they're believing um, that, like, we shouldn't have firearms in general. Thomas Jefferson said, if you outlaw firearms, you will only ensure outlaws have them. Because, you know, criminals completely obey the law, right? Well, let's make firearms legal because no one will have them. You know what? We should do that with crack, crack and methamphetamines. Oh, wait. Those are illegal, and people still have them. Yeah, yeah like, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm basically fine with the American citizens having firearms. It just should be harder to obtain them. Now, like, like you, you mentioned a gun show. Where you can just buy a gun without any waiting period, without uh, incorrect, seller sir. checking. Incorrect. The way that works, there is an air quote loophole. Like, say, all right, yesterday in the city of Tampa, which is the next town to up for me, there was the Tampa Bay Gun Show. This happens about once every two months. Um, the gun shop that I go to, uh, the, the owner of it was there at the gun show. If I went over to him and he had, you know, a rifle I wanted to buy, if I did not have my carry conceal permit, I'd walk up and, oh, that's a cool rifle. I'd like to buy that. Okay, this is the price. I fill out the paperwork. I give him the money. And then he tells me I can pick it up after my three-day mandatory wait period at his gun shop. Yeah, but not all private sellers operate that way. Now, well, that's the thing is because he's a licensed seller. That's my point. You a, also have private sellers who can just sell any gun to anyone they please. Yeah, which, and trust that's, me... That's, I, that's, I, that's, that's the issue to me. Yeah, th and that's the issue I have as well. Now, the problem is, and I know I'm breaking my own rule by getting into pro politics, and I apologize, is um, a while ago there was uh, proposed this universal background check. For the most part of it, I agree with it. I wholly hearted agree with it. Uh, basically, what it was proposed is it would be a sharing of databases. You know, uh, state and fed federal um, uh, mental health issues, uh, protection or orders of protection, restraining orders, whatever you want to call them, and one person's uh, criminal background with putting the name and social security inside the centralized database if they are deemed by 
uh, state or federal uh, authorities to be men- mentally incompetent to handle a firearm or possess a firearm, or they have extenuating circumstances, orders of protection, restraining orders, uh, any sort of uh, court appointed injuncture, or a felony criminal record. This would immediately kick back and know this person is not allowed to have a firearm. And I agree with that. I wholeheartedly fucking agree with that. The problem is the last line of the universal background check said from this point forward, any purchase of a firearm, their name, address, all their critical information will be submitted into a database. It is absolutely no one's business what firearms I own or, you know, where I may or may not live. That, that, that's what, uh, um, you're talking about a public database. Yeah. Anyone can look this up. Yeah. Uh, because registration databases are never a good idea. Yeah. Registration leads to confiscation because, you know, let's say worst case scenario happens. Um, fucking martial law gets instituted you know Obama can't get kicked out of office or whoever may be president let's just say an anti-gun president they now know where every registered firearm in this nation is they'll just go to door to door collecting okay cool now we have all your firearms now begins the the tyrannical regime because you no longer have the ability to fight us Right. Um, actually, there, there was a great quote. Let me look it up. Speaking of looking things up. Yeah, I, I know I'm um, stepping on the soapbox, but I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but this is something I'm very, very passionate about. Oh, here's another great one. Uh, mass shootings uh, in the United States under presidents. Ronald Reagan, 11. George W. Bush, or uh, George Bush Sr., 12. Bill Clinton, 23. Uh, George W. Bush, 16. Barack Obama, 162. Uh, Come on, I know it's in here somewhere. New image. Oh, a corgi. Can't find it. Not gonna log into Twitter. <laughs> tweet, 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 lady, lady. I'm sorry, it's taking me a while to find this. All right, I, I might just go to Google here in a minute. So I'm sure I'll be able to find it after that. Yeah, I've been following uh, Christopher Tydeus on uh, Twitter. He's a comedian in the States who is not opposed to guns, but he is very opposed to a lot of ways uh, gun laws are handled. It's, it, it's very entertaining to see how he... Uh, there's a whole lot of people, a new one, Yeah. Oh god, what was one of the shootings we had down here? It wasn't the whole Trayvon Martin deal because that was just a bad deal all around. Um. But oh yeah, the, to, there, to, there to was. Me it's like, oh, there's been another mass shooting. Must be Thursday. Yeah. Um. No, there there was uh, a 16 year old kid, a 17 year old kid, and 18 year old kid. 
Um, wow, my That's Firefox the, is flipping the fuck out for some reason. That the most recent one. It is not the most recent, but uh, where NBC or CNN uh, docks oh. the, the the mom of one of the shooters on national television. Uh, it, it might be, um, but basically, um... Look, this is where his mom lives! This is her address! Journalism! Well, no, no. Oh, God. What, what had happened is the, uh, the, the, the kid in question goes in with a handgun, robs this convenience store. As they are coming out, a private citizen pulls up, he's, he's just going in to buy a soda. There's a dude coming out with a gun and a sack of money in his other hand. The kid turns, looks, starts to raise his weapon. Dude happened to be a Florida State carry concealed permit holder. He draws his weapon, one shot, center mass, drops the kid. He dies on the scene. Later on, about a day later, this stupid bitch is holding a sign that every mother should not fear for her child every time he robs a store. Oh, my kid's going to go out with a firearm, possibly take someone's life, but you shouldn't take his. <clears throat> yeah. A lot of crazy Americans out there. Come on, Google, why are you not helping me? Let me add the word meme. I think this is his handle. On nice Twitter. Pretty sure that's it. Like I said, he's not opposed to guns, but he is opposed to many ideas surrounding gun boss and stuff like that. Yeah. That was I mean, that's, that's too short talking right now. And me. You're listening to me, Ferret. Oh, look. Did, did I spark, spark a controversy? What? Is that our true talk? No. They were just wondering who was... Uh, yeah. That was one of your better rants. Oh, thank you, Socrates. Yeah, indeed. Look at Chicago with their gun laws. Um, I have a buddy who lives in Chicago, and... Well, not the correct caller. Oh, crap. My Your stream timed out for me. Okay, there's a delay. I know your voice. Okay. Well, at least the chat's still working. Um, yeah, that's... The that's chat fair. is still working? Ferret. Ferret knows my voice. God damn, I cannot find this one meme. It's been all... What meme are you looking huh? for? Which meme? Yeah. Um, it's one of Hillary. Uh, she was quoted to saying to I forget which uh, journalistic um, magazine or something. She said, "When I am uh, voted in as president, the first thing I am doing is uh, disbanding the NRA and confiscating every handgun because the American people have no right to have them." I'm like. What? Excuse me, what? Kinda doesn't sound like something a politician should say. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, but and, she's uh, going to win anyway. Like she has a vagina. That's kind of everything she's being voted for. I know, for. and Barack Obama was voted in because he was black. I know. Um, and underneath it, uh, after her quote and you know where she said it and everything in the time index, there's a picture underneath it of a very very famous individual. And one of his quotes, when government takes away the citizens' right to bear arms, it is the citizens' duty to take away government's right to govern. General George S. Washington. Yeah, but, but keep in mind, General George S. Washington never expected stuff like uh, automatic assault rifles. But Which, it, you know, inher inherently in the name, assault. Yeah. Well, you got to remember, in his day, uh, a fucking uh, Kentucky they had, they long had, rifle was muskets. the assault rifle of the day. That they was had, the assault weapon of the day. They had muskets with which took five minutes to load. I actually could uh, a disciplined soldier could get off four rounds a minute. What did you say about my wife? Takes five minutes to load. Oh, we don't, we don't. Never mind. You're a good guy. I'm misquoting a comedian now. But. No. Just. You know, tr trust me, I do believe there should be. A more intuitive, more in-depth background check for individuals to yeah, procure firearms. I do believe private sales, it should be the, the part of the seller to uh, do these background checks. And here, here's the fucked up thing. Here is the fucked up thing. Is uh, at the gun shows... There are booths that advertise, we will do your background checks for you. You know, you show up with the seller. I will check that in just a moment. Um, <laughs> you, you show up with the seller with their ID uh, and, and their social security number. And the licensed FLL dealer put... And, and that's why there's going to be no identity theft because they would use, lose their FFL license. And trust me, that's something you don't want to lose. Uh, they put it in, and whatever the results are, the results are. That is the responsibility of the seller. Now, in the Florida State Constitution, we have uh, freedom to sell or trade guns privately to another Florida State citizen. Like, say, for whatever reason, Archer comes over to, to St. Pete, and we meet up, meet up at a gun show. It's like, you know, hey, Creeper, I, I want to I buy your fucking SAR, even though you can't see me holding it up to my screen. Um, I'm like, okay, cool. You know, I, 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 I'll sell it to you for like 300 bucks. That's about the going price. Okay, cool. He lays down 300 bucks. I'm like, all right, you got your uh, Florida State uh, ID? No. Are you a citizen of Florida State? No. I'm sorry, as a private citizen, I can't sell to you. But back to something I touched on originally. Criminals don't obey the law. A criminal will get a hold of whatever they want to get a hold of, despite the law. Um, the way the laws are right now, be it a little bit misguided as they may be, are there for the easy transference for Florida State residents to obtain firearms to pe protect themselves, their property, their families, their life and liberties. But there will always be someone who will take that easy route. Well, you know, I picked up, you know, a whole bunch of these crap. Uh, let's say somebody bought a, a case of fucking Gemini's 9 millimeters. By the way, Gemini's is like the worst handgun on the face of the planet. You can get these things blow up in your fucking hand. I'm not joking. I paid about 69 bucks a piece for these. Well, uh, I'm at a, a gun show, and, you know, Sir McThuggy Thug and his crew come in, and not one table will sell to them. But, you know, their money is as green as anybody else's, 
and they're offering me twice what I have paid for these pistols per pistol. What the fuck do I care? They're Florida State citizens. Right. I don't have to check their backgrounds. Right. Criminals will always find a way. And if it doesn't take place at a gun show, they'll, they'll find out. You know, there, there's absolutely nothing stopping, you know, this dude from getting a couple buddies gunning up, going to the ghetto, finding Sir McThuggy Thug walking down the street. Hey, buddy, you want to buy a nine mil? cheap of course sir mcthuggy thug is going to say yes because he, he has to represent his hood and blah 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 and i know i'm getting to a little bit of uh prejudices and uh racial stereotypes there but stereotypes exist for a reason i'm sorry but the point is criminals will always find a way despite the law because we all know criminals don't obey the law they're criminals, criminals do <laughs> criminals obey the law okay they obey the law of the street. Yeah. All right, let me see what dead leak. Oh, live leak! I love this. Uh, I love to watch so much shit. Here, excuse me. What's up? Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Is everybody here? I'm, I'm, I've been here. I haven't seen Gage hand move in a while. I in still fact, move a bit ago, but... If, in fact, again. I don't even know where it is right now. It is right over here. Yeah, it's off there. The ether, I'm sure. Oh, there it is. Yeah, oh, it is. Yeah. It's actually in the middle of the table. Oh, that's that's too sure. All the way over here. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. I've been all tabbed. I, this is me here. Oh, that's interesting. <coughs> you move into the far corner of a room within tabletop and you use your M to zoom in. Weird shit happens. Oh, it's... Okay. I know what that is. Skybox. But yeah, that that, that is my uh, Second Amendment rant for the stream. I hope everyone enjoyed you were ranting on stream and I missed it? Yeah. Sad day. Well, he yeah. did it during the break, so it, it will be up in YouTube on my channel. <laughs> I got chocolate fudge. Eh, I like white chocolate personally. Which I know is technically not chocolate, but... I've never had fudge made of that. That'd be good. Uh, I'm thinking about actually getting some tritium inserts for my uh, car. <laughs> um, actually, real quick, back to the whole gun rant thing, too. Um, the, the funny thing, uh, the 1996 uh, uh, Clinton gun ban. Here's the funny thing is it didn't actually ban any guns it banned certain features of guns like ARs were no longer allowed to have the bayonet lug because that apparently made it more deadly more sinister 
Um, ten round magazines only in like California and a couple other different places. Because yes, that makes the bullets less deadly that come out. Um, I'm gonna take a quick pee break. Alright. He's just tired of hearing me. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah, it it, it, it it outlawed certain features, not the firearms themselves. Hmm. That's weird. Yeah. Yes, because if it doesn't have that feature, it's not deadly anymore. It, it's as less deadly. Um And then oh there's my 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 absolute favorite uh, anti gun uh, fucking psychopath, uh, Diane Feinstein. Um, up until most recently, she had a carry concealed permit and carried a firearm for her own protection. Mm. And her party got so pissed off over at her over it, she she relinquished uh, to the state her carry concealed permit. Now she just has has uh, bodyguard details that carry fully automatic submachine guns. Yes, because that makes it better. But um, there, there was one particular interview she was on, and she's like, you know, I'm against all these assault weapons, yada, yada, yada. And they show her a picture of a rifle, has nice, uh, you know, as she deems them high-capacity magazines. No, it's a standard-capacity magazine, because that's what's standard for the rifle. Um, coming out, uh, pistol grip, um, 4X uh, fucking ACOG optic on it. Um, it's all black, uh, fucking foldable stock. She goes, yes, this is the type of firearm I am against. You know, one squeeze of that trigger can empty that 30-round magazine. It, it, or, excuse me, she actually said clip, which it's not. It's a magazine, <laughs> which is another argument for another time. And she's, and then they're like, oh, okay, cool. What about this rifle? And it's a plain Jane wood you know, Woodstock everything, Ruger 1022. She goes, that rifle's fine. Well, guess what? This rifle, the evil black rifle, and this rifle are the same fucking rifle. <clears throat> the only thing that is different is instead of the 10-round box mag, we have a 30-round uh, BX magazine, which the uh, manufacturer of the firearm makes and can ship with it, so it is standard capacity. <clears throat> and just the stock and uh, optic has been added. Same damn gun. A couple months from then, uh, in lieu of a, a different shooting, I don't remember which one, she's holding a press conference, and there there are several what she deems to be assault weapons up on hangers on this board. And she goes on that the average American does not have the proper training or knowledge to handle these weapons. She walks over, picks up a uh, fucking Wasser AK-47, with a drum magazine in it. And if you, if you watch the video, the safety is off. Her finger rests on the trigger as she's saying no one, save her, has the experience to, to handle this weapon as she muzzle sweeps the entire fucking audience with her finger oh on the trigger. Oh, my God. I, I was sitting there, and I was watching this live going, squeeze the trigger. Please tell me there's a round in it. Squeeze the trigger, squeeze the trigger, squeeze the trigger, <laughs> squeeze the trigger, squeeze the trigger. I know it's a horrible thing to say, but it would have got my point across. Now, here's the problem. Um, at a, a certain point in this video, what, what came out, you, you can notice there's a jump because they edited something out. Um, a couple uh, veterans stood up. I'm like, I, I'm sorry, we're, we're not able or we don't have the, the proper knowledge or experience to handle these things. Sorry, me and my two other buddies, you know, just spent the last four years over in the fucking sandbox. When was your tour of duty? Ooh. And they asked him to leave. Right. <laughs> of course they did. Everyone has returned? Yep, I'm um, here. Um, yep. All right. Uh, sick, but I'm here. Yep, let's, get, um, let's, let's get these dice rolling then. Actually, just give me two seconds. I just need to grab a bottle of water. I've become parched from standing on my soapbox, so, like... <laughs> Ten seconds. Be right back. Jeez. Should have grabbed the bottle of water while I was pissing. Didn't that just create the endless cycle of pissing? Yeah, well, 
well, I I could have gone for him while I was uh, away. Sure. Oh no, wait, that doesn't work that way. That's no, not wink, wink. And we're back. Welcome back. Well, stores are closed. Right. Thought they would be up until eight today. Hmm. Yeah, we do need some orc control up in here. Ban goblins. Hashtag ban goblins. <laughs> you could have just said that, Archer. Vent, vent girl has left. Maybe the original account? No, I think... Uh, I think that that might have been an alt account for Spaghetti Pimp or uh, or maybe Persian Immortal. It's it's so easy to <coughs> make a account on Twitch. Oh, I know. All right, let's get this party started. <sighs> are, are are you coming out to show? Ooh. Uh, in what respect? I'm coming out, so let's get this money started. Ah, I, I guess. thought he was coming out of the closet again. No. Uh, that's, a, that's a pink song, right? Okay, I think. Well, fuck, you guys are already all know I'm a fucking brony and a furry. Well, what the fuck else is there? I cannot, Ferret. I cannot. Oh, Matsuro's here. Hey, Matsuro. <sighs> Hang on, what happened here? What is Troy doing? I don't know. Preparing for our demise. There must be a hell of a thing around that corner or in that door. Oh, okay, dokily neighbor, he knows. Yeah. Uh, well, he knows, you know, my high DPS spells out of the way. Or high what DPS spells, plural. What the hell? What? But you got that awesome one damage spell. Yep. And your and two damage staff, which makes me laugh at the one damage spell. Yeah, but the one damage spell is range. And I, I've so killed your, some so pretty nasty... Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't work anymore. I've killed some pretty nasty stuff with that one damage spell just to do the final damage. Yeah. Right, let's remove the taking a break to the screen. Let's note down the time. When we're about to play again. So that was a 45 minute break, guys. <laughs> wow. And most of it was me ranting. Holy crap. Yeah. That's the longest break we've ever taken. Alright, well, now that we're all ready. I hope. I've been waiting on you, jeez. I've been waiting on you guys, actually. I've been just sitting here waiting for the conversation to kind of just find a stopping point. I'm like, yeah, I'll just wait. I don't I, want to I, enter I, in those conversations. I don't have anything wait. wood color. All right. It's just really weird that... doesn't work anymore. Okay, so I ended up my actually. turn, I believe, oh, okay. at the end oh, there. Turn first and then... Okay, so three, so I'm, I'm sensing two, oh. one. <clears throat> so yeah, I believe I ended my turn.
stop or 